Join us here at Last Adam Tabernacle as we bring Christ to the nation. Thank you, Sam. Uh, thank you, worship team. Yeah, give uh, Sam and the worship team a big hand clap. Yes, uh, yeah. So thank you, Abad and, um, and Barbara. That was good. Uh, we will come back, Juliana. Okay? There are some people who are new. They don't know you. Okay? Juliana, yeah. Is one of the people in the worship team, one of the leaders. She was away for some time, and she's back. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you all for coming. Amen. And uh, I hope you guys know that today is Super Sunday. Do you know Uspa Sunday? Or you know that today is uh, Mother's Day. Yes. Okay, it is Mother's Day and what? Super Sunday. Glory be to God. Okay. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amy, where is Amy? What do you prefer, Mother's Day or Super Sunday? God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Super, you, you don't know Super Sunday. You're in Europe and you don't know Super Sunday. Huh? Juliana. And God is good. Hallelujah. Amen. Today basically uh, marks the end of uh, the premiership season. Eh? Is that right? Yes. It marks the what? The end. So, for those of you who want to have who, eh? your boyfriend have been what? You know, eh? Now you have them, amen. Your wife, uh, eh? husbands, eh? okay. They have yeah, instead of resolving issues, amen. <laughs> they have been watching football. Eh? Now you have them. Glory be to God. However, it's not going to be for a long while, you know, <laughs> because yeah, there's a World Cup coming up. Glory be to God, amen. World Cup is doing what? It's coming up. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Glory be to God. So you all welcome, I can say, visitors. Sharon, secondy, you know. Uh, thank you for coming. Yeah. Amen. Now, does God like football? Is he concerned? Huh? Okay. Three or two years ago, we joined a uh, uh, God. Those experiences eh? went to heaven. Eh? I think to like for eight hours. Okay, so one of the questions he asked the Lord was that: Is that are you interested in sports? Okay, then the Lord said that uh, I love what you love. You know, I love what you love. Eh? As long as it's not evil, of course. Eh? So you have to put these things in what a context. Okay, God said, I love what you love. Eh? Because I love you. Eh? Okay, so if something makes you happy, you know, eh? I love it. Eh? Okay, and uh, he says, he said that, however, i rather you do it with me. You understand? Eh? Because God loves you, okay, he wants to spend time with you, okay, so all that you love, eh? okay, he rather you do it together with him. Glory be to God. Amen. Okay, he loves what you love, eh? as long as it's not evil. Eh? Okay, I don't think, amen, this is why I annoy people. I don't think God will sit there and watch boxing with you. Boxing. Yeah? You know, eh? this is God gave me the talent to, to time some guy's nose. Eh? Uh, that's not God. To, he, to hammer his eye, eh? Yeah, that's not God. Okay, wrestling, I don't think so. Amen? I don't think so. Okay? Pray for me that I also get an eight hours experience. Then I'll ask the Lord. But there are some things you don't have to ask the Lord. Because he knows that you know. You understand? He knows that this one really basic. Okay? For me, that one, yes, I get that one, you know. Eh? But... But for me, eh, I don't see the point with Formula One. 
cars running, cars running after each other. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah? and the thing is wrong, it never ends. You understand? At least, you know, a ball, eh? it is humans, you know, you know, you know. But, okay? Men are running after ball. But, but with cars, <laughs> cars are running after each other. Glory be to God. Amen? So, all right? God loves sports, okay? He loves whatever you love. I don't know what women like, eh? Okay? What do you like? Hmm? Hmm? W, W, <laughs> okay? Hmm? What? Shopping. Yeah, God, you know. Okay? God loves, you know, he loves what you love, eh? Okay? But he's not going to what? Well, I don't know. I'll ask him when I also get an eight hours. Eh? Okay? Yeah. He, he might shop with you for like an hour. Okay, then after he's like, no, 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 no. no. This is what? <laughs> he's like, no, this is not right. Hallelujah. I'm amazed. Women, by the way, are very, what's the word? Eh? As in uh, insensitive? What's the right word? Okay, let me describe what I want to say. Then you tell me which word to use. Eh? How do you enter someone's shop? Okay. But you know those things. Eh? Okay, a shop. Okay. You enter someone's shop. Someone is selling dresses. Okay. They have come to get some money. Eh? All right. Then you enter a shop. All right. You try on every dress. Guru, it's a kind of hard. That's why I'm nice. Eh? Hey, give me that shoe, then you know, you try it. Eh? Then after you leave, after two hours or what? <laughs> wasting, you know, eh? But I realized that those shop attendants, the ladies, eh? actually, it is us men who think that what? That they are concerned about that. I think they are not. Because they, they click each other, you know, eh? Yeah. I think they are not. You try on every dress, every dress, and after eh? no, there is eh? but tembe, you know, tembe, you know, get her shoes, what then? This one, this one, you know, eh? Then after I say, ah, ah, you got to go. After you put on ten shoes, you know, wasted the guy's time. Eh? <laughs> I mean, be a little bit what? Okay, <laughs> you're like what? Well, this is how we are. Eh? This is how we are made, and those but tembe guys understand. All right? Yeah, but uh, be a little bit what? Be nice. Eh? Hallelujah. Be what? Be nice. Glory to God. Amen? There are some things anyway I say. Eh? God, what? He's like, no, don't, don't ask me that one. You know, eh? God wants what? He will say that one. No, that one is obvious. Eh? Please. Eh? These eight hours, don't waste them. Eh? You might never get another chance. Okay? <laughs> And uh, I think now, but there are some now there are things you know. Uh, since July last year, okay, I've been I began to share things which God began to show me of uh, one of your prophets who went off track. Okay, so to this day, I'm amazed why people don't go and ask God about the issue. All right. So I realized, of course, as a human being, you know, I'm like, I'm like everyone else. I mean, I realized that I think some people fear eh, to ask God. You understand? Eh? I think some guys fear because like, this modest guy, we know him, okay, you know, we have to pretend like, you know, he's, he's lying, eh? but, like, but we know him, you know, eh? so like what if we go to God and he gives us a shocker? Okay, so people are not like, no, you tell guys, why don't you go and ask God? You understand? Eh? They, they no, no, we know. <laughs> On other issues, they are saying they're asking God. On this one, eh, zero. I believe people just don't want man eh, to get shocked. All right? Okay, for their hearts to be broken, eh, you understand? Eh? And humanly speaking, that is understandable. 
No one wants to experience what? A broken heart. You understand? And now they are human speaking. I can understand. All right? So if someone gives me that truth, man, for me, I don't want to ask God. You know, because, man, there I can be like, yeah, I understand you. Okay? You know, eh? There are people who, who had these things, eh? Okay? And I told them, you can ask God. And they went. Okay? One of them. Anyway, they are here. Okay? And when they went to God, he gave them more dangerous information than he gave me. You understand? Eh? Okay? More deadly info than he gave me. Why? They went to him. Eh? All right? Okay? Yeah. So, don't fear to ask God whether what? Whether shopping. There's a preacher who I like who believes that shopping is of the devil. Okay. <laughs> I used to listen to him many years ago. Of course, he was joking. Yeah? All right. Say, well, shopping is of the devil. And all the men say, okay. Amen. Then he also used to say that golf is also of the devil. Golf, eh? He forgot to add cricket. All right. <laughs> cricket is of what? Of the devil. Hallelujah. Serious things, eh? Okay. Uh, last week, eh, we talked about the grace of God. Eh? His uh, enablement, his ability that he gives to, to the humble. Okay. The humble being those people who acknowledge the fact that without him, they are nothing. All right? That without him, they can't do anything. All right? Those are the humble. Eh? And God gives them grace. He gives them strength, okay, to do whatever, you know, he wants them to do. Okay? And ultimately, those are the people who become great eh, in the kingdom eh, of God. Not great according to human standards. Okay, but great according to God's standards. Hallelujah. I told you about uh, Darlene Cheke, okay? You know, how uh, I was one time employed to wait on her. Eh? Remember? I was a waiter at one time. Eh? All right, black, white, with, eh? black, eh? white, black, with a bow tie, yeah, you know, eh? Okay? So, you know, eh? And, and then I got an opportunity to talk to her. Have you ever, you never heard of that story? She, you think you're the first worship whatever I've, I've uh, you know? The lynchic word, they what? They, and so, she told me that when she was a child, she used to stammer. Okay? So, she was telling me that this that you see, you know, uh, that you know about me now, okay, it is by the grace of God. She couldn't talk. All right? Then all of a sudden, she becomes the best of the best. Hallelujah. Amen? You see, eh? God specializes in the weak. All right? You know, he specializes in those who are that without him, they are nothing. Yeah? Okay? And he empowers them. Okay? And they become great. Eh? They get on top of whatever, you know, he has called them to do. Glory be to God. Okay, so may we all be like that. Eh? Hallelujah. However sharp you are in the head, however anything you are, eh? okay, at least acknowledge that you are what you are because of God. Glory be to God. And then, if you have uh, some uh, inability, eh? you know, eh? there's uh, something God has called you to do, there's something you want to become in the Lord, eh? and you don't have what it takes, Okay? Don't despair. You are the person God wants. So that now when he walks through you, eh, okay, he knows that this one will always acknowledge eh, that it is me who did it through them. Glory be to God. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? Weakness is strength. Okay? Paul knew that. Eh? Okay? He's the one who said that, uh, you know, he discovered, he said that when I am weak, then I am strong. Okay? It is not when you're strong that you're strong. Eh? Okay? When I am weak, 
Okay? Then I'm what? I'm strong. Hallelujah. Weakness is strength. Eh? Glory be to God. Because when you realize that you are, you don't have what it takes, eh? you're with nothing. Eh? Okay? But you acknowledge that, but don't stop there. Eh? You see, that's the danger also. Eh? You just stop on, on, on say, man, for me, I don't have what it takes. You understand? You know? Ah. Good once you okay, ah, uh, hi, the moment you play that, then you turn to him, eh? Okay? And then he fills you with his ability. Hallelujah. Amen? In whatever thing, eh, comes to money, finances, you know, eh? If they broke people, those are the, the, the people God wants. He's like, you are the one I want. You know, eh? Okay? Then, you know, he uses you, he empowers you, he makes you rich, great. Eh? And then, so you see, this one won't boast that it's because of their PhD in economics. Hallelujah. Not that God is against uh, PhDs of anything. Eh? Okay. But even those he enables to get them, he wants them to acknowledge that it was God. Without him, I am nothing. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen? That is essentially what we are what? Talking about. Eh? Alright? And that's what we are going to talk about. Glory be to God. I had a professor at, at uh, uh, Berkeley who used to say, who wrote once, where's Flora? Flora here. Hey. I trained God. You remember? I trained God. That's a guy, man. Eh? Very weird chap. At rain God. He was Jewish. Eh? He had a, you know, a golden earring. This guy was 60 something. Eh? In the late 60s, he had a golden earring, you know, eh? in one ear. Then I learned later that he was a shady guy. I didn't know. <laughs> anyway, but the guy, you know, why? and then he would boast about it that he got it at the CDC. Eh? Okay? They gave it to him at the CDC where he used to work before he became uh, a Lecture. Anyway, anyway, I trained God. You know, went, I read somewhere where he said, he wrote that, uh, you know, uh, if you are a teacher, eh, okay, you first tell people what you're going to tell them. All right? You begin by telling people what, you, what you're going to tell them. All right? Then you proceed to tell them what you're going to tell them that you have told them. All right? Then you end <laughs> by telling them what you have already what? Told them. Hallelujah. And if you're a preacher, they give you an offering. Hallelujah. Amen? So I've told you what? What I'm going to tell you. Okay? So, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. Paul said, he said that by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. Alright? He says, by the grace of God, I am the great apostle Paul. Hallelujah. He was great. You know that. Eh? Okay. And he says it is by the grace of God. Then he said, I labored. I worked more abundantly than even the Peters eh, who walked with the Lord. Okay. Paul never walked with God, with Jesus. Eh? Okay. He got to know Jesus long after Jesus had what? Gone back to heaven. Okay. But there are these guys, the Paul, the, the Peters, eh? all right, the whoever, eh? the 12, eh? or the 11, all right, and the guy said, I labored more abundantly than they all. Glory be to God. Which means actually that you don't, uh, you can beat, eh? or supersede eh? people who, man, are gifted at eh? getting these visions, audible voices, dreams, eh? You understand? Eh? You, you, you actually don't have to get them in order to beat them eh? in whatever God has called you. 
You understand? But it's something else. Eh? All right? So he says, I labored more abundantly than they. Or then he said, Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Hallelujah. Amen? The grace of God. Amen? The grace of God made Paul to be what he was. Okay? There was nothing from within himself eh, that made him what he was. It was the grace of God. It was something from without. Okay? Not something from within. Hallelujah. Amen? <laughs> Which reminds me of a story. There's a great preacher, eh? a big time, you know, and some preacher with a big name eh? in uh, Uganda. Uh, so, he has, and he has, you know, his English is not that good. Eh? He didn't have a very, any, his education wasn't like, you know. Eh? So, and uh, he loves using KJV Bible. The KJV, you know, thou, the, you know, those things. Eh? So, he was reading a story where uh, I think, um, I think Jesus was inside the house. Eh? All right. And then they brought someone who was sick. All right. And some people, I, I think, stayed outside. Eh? So, KJV says that those people were without. Okay? That is in the English of those days. Eh? Okay? So, there are those within and those what? Without. Eh? Outside. <laughs> so, this guy, you know, got a revelation. Amen? <laughs> from that, from, from without. Deep revelation. So you see, the Bible says they were without. That means it's something they didn't have. You understand? Because they were without. They didn't have, you know, eh? But a deep, I'm telling you, some of, of these deep things, eh? people are just what? It's just an English what? It's, you know, eh? So the people within, you know, they were, they, they were, they were eh? we, ah, really, eh? Okay? But that is what? Now, actually, that could be one of the reasons why at one time this guy was used powerfully by God. Because he was weak. Do you understand? So, he had a problem with the English language. Eh? You know, eh? but you know, he was like, God, for me, I'm available. Do you understand? Eh? So, he had a problem with the English language, yet he had to preach in English eh? most of the time. And goes like, don't worry. You are the guys I want. Hallelujah. Okay? So, though he had some things you know, wrong, eh? however, when it came to the demonstration of the power, man, eh? at a certain point, he had no equal in this country. Glory be to God. Amen? I'm speaking to you. You are the... But you are the you are the person God is looking for. However, you're trying to eh? first of all you're hiding. You don't want people to know that you're weak. You know, eh? Hallelujah. Your English is not that good, but you're trying to force an accent. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> yes, yes, you're the guy God is looking for. You know, eh? You meet a white guy, huh? <laughs> this white guy is looking for an African woman, an African chick. Someone who's real African. Do you understand? Oh, stay gay, right? <laughs> the guy is looking for what? An African chick. You, he, you know, eh? then uh, you meet the guy, then you want to twist your tongue to talk like him. The guy says, no, you're not the one I'm looking for. The people who talk like that, I'm not interested in them. You know, there are so many back in my country. That's why I want, I, you know. Now, hey, you talk like them. Uh, uh, I'm looking for an African chick. You, you, you understand? Eh? Hallelujah. So now yeah, you're trying to what? Twist your tongue. The guy wants a black chick, African chick. You know, eh? a chick who talks like an African. Do you understand? Eh? If he was looking for uh, someone who talks like him, oh, why do you not? You didn't, you know? You understand? 
Now he's looking for you, but now you're dark. Then he's like, hey, you're not the one. Glory be to God. Okay? Amen? Amen. You understand? <laughs> okay? Some rich guy is looking for a chief who uh, he can look after, you know, he can why, you know, eh? You okay? Blessed with his what? Final, you know, eh? <laughs> then now you're there you're trying to show him that I'm a woman, you know? Women these days were also what? We also have our money. Nothing to it. You know, me, you know. Eh? You understand? And the guy is like, you know the one I'm looking for. Now you're trying to impress, you know? The guy has a billion, what? Dollars for you, now you have uh, your, a 20K. Now you're trying to impress him. I can't pay for myself. See, you're not the one. Glory be to God. So the man, I mean, you're more loaded than me for me, yeah? You understand? Hallelujah. Now you think I came to joke, but I'm very, very serious. Very, very what? <laughs> serious. Amen. You are the person God is looking for. Catherine Kuhlman, okay, she acknowledged it, okay, that she was nothing without the Lord, okay? She, she even used to say that, you know, she used to say that I was born with nothing. Okay? Now, most all of you are like Catherine Kuhlman. You are born with nothing. All right? But all of a sudden, eh, you man appear like... Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. She said, I was born with nothing. Okay. Then she said, I even didn't have hair on my head when I was born. Okay. Then one day I said, wonderful Jesus, I have nothing to give you but my love. You understand? I said, and I gave, you know, eh? she had nothing. Then she used to talk about where she was born, man. Eh? Some kind of village somewhere in the States, deep there. Now, some of you think there are no villages in the States. You know, <laughs> I was told that there's a place in the States where guys even with man, mobile, you know, who finds a strange thing. In the States. You know, anyway, Catherine Kuman said, man, even where I was born, eh, because place is not known. All right? <laughs> But for you, but you are born in the States. Okay? But for you, yes, I was born in the States, but man, eh? the people in the States don't know that car place. And sometimes she even didn't want people to what? To talk about, to tell people that, that she was born in that place. Okay? And but she was saying she was nothing. Okay? And then God was like, you're the one, eh? So that when I get to use you eh, mightily, okay, you will never take the glory. You will always acknowledge that it is the Lord. Glory be to God. Amen? So stop what? Uh, accumulating unnecessary CVs. Eh? Amen? <laughs> Just go to the Lord and say, man, God, the water nyamba, eh? You understand? Eh? And goes, there, you're the one I've been looking for. Glory be to God. Hmm? Amen? You're the one. <laughs> All right? <laughs> okay? All right? Hmm? Today is Super Sunday. You know, eh, eh, what's the guy's name? What's that guy who was in Arsenal, then he went to Man City, then Madrid, then Spurs? The black guy from uh, Adebayo. Eh, Adebayo. Okay. Adebayo man says, eh, there's a story about him. The guy, I think, when he was born, he couldn't even walk. Eh? Okay. At the time when he should be walking. But uh, this lady is a football <laughs> analyst. In case you don't know. She used to be on radio speaking Luganda. Yadu Kose Wati. Bandi Guzo, no, Sente, you know, Kati, Pasi, eh. This, eh. You just see people here darking. But people are talented. People have done things in this world. This one. 
Now, you men, you, Namanya, you think you know soccer? You get to praise. Huh? Maybe even what you know, you listen to her, what? A program, then you, then you got info. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right? Yes, at the bio. Man, at the age where the girl was supposed to be working, a child is working, at the bio couldn't. You understand? Eh? And everyone who knows him knows that, man, eh? the girl wasn't simple. Okay? Man, you guys can attest to what? Can attest to that. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 3, verse 27. Yeah? This is what God wants you to do. Yeah? Whatever you have, whatever great gifting that you have, yeah? God wants you, okay, to be like John the Baptist who said that a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. Okay, from God. All right? See, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. That essentially means there is nothing you have that you did not receive. Hallelujah. There is nothing that you have. Yeah? Okay? This is where if you think your tribe yeah, is uh, superior to other tribes, yeah? all right? Consider the fact eh, that you didn't do anything eh, to belong to that tribe. If that is, if at all it is superior anyway, you understand? Eh? Okay, but if you think it is, eh, okay, <laughs> all right, consider the fact that you, there's nothing you did, eh, all right, to be that you were just born into that group of people. Okay? Whichever, whichever group, whichever, you see, this is where, when you sit back, you realize that all these things are vanity, eh? It's just high level stupidity. You understand, eh? Okay? This man went to Buddha, eh? King's College. Now, it is high level stupidity, eh? You know, to think that simply because you went to a school that is considered the greatest, there are four, you're greater than other people. What did you do to get yourself to Buddha? You know? You got four. All right? <laughs> so, what, what made you to get a four? You understand? Yeah? All right? That ability to cram. You understand? <laughs> I mean, we get fours and you get a six in six and eight in eight, ten in ten. Eh? But when actually it was just the ability, okay, to retain information for a few minutes, eh? okay, then the moment, ooh, <laughs> yeah, it's just ability, right? To re, you know, eh? okay, that's a good memory. You know, eh? did you give it to yourself? No. A man can receive nothing. Unless it has been given to him from above. Glory be to God. Amen. And when you acknowledge that, that whatever I have is from God, God is like, aha, uh -huh, I will use it for my glory and I'll bless you abundantly for it. But if you don't acknowledge that what you have was given to you from heaven, it will, you will use it, but at the end of the day, especially when it comes to eternity, the judgment day. You're not going to get a single reward for it. But you were great. You were all these things. And God said, yes, but you didn't acknowledge that it is me who gave it to you. So that means whatever you did, you, did, you didn't do it for me. And said, no reward. All right? A man can receive nothing. Eh? Okay? Hallelujah. Many... Years ago, many years ago, okay? Many years ago, before I was born, eh, I used to look at what? <laughs> many years ago, before I was born, there's this joke of what would you do if you woke up and you find that you're dead? 
What would you do? Okay. Anyway, many years ago, before I was born, eh, I used to look at beautiful girls. Eh? Okay? Smart, you remember? And then, you were like, I, you know? Then, when I got saved, I was like, I hope these beautiful girls realize that there is nothing that they have that they did not receive. Do you understand? Eh? Think well, actually, they are like everyone else. Eh? It's only that they are more endow anyway. But you understand? Eh? <laughs> you know? Eh? Okay. Any, but whatever you have, eh? you received it from who? The Lord. Acknowledge that. Thank God for whatever you have. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm reading history eh, these days. Eh? Okay. There's a thick book I finished, uh, like 900 uh, uh, pages on European history. I finished it what? some time ago. Denise is the one who got me that book. Eh? Okay. So now, there's another one now I'm reading. Okay. Which Juliana uh, got me. Again, European history, 1,000 what? Pages. Anyway, so last night I was. Uh, I lay down on my bed and I began to try to, to recall a few things that I now know in about history, you know, eh? And I was like, eh, God, man, thank you, eh? Now I know this, now I know this, now I know this, okay? And then I was like, God, you know, eh? At a certain point, please use this for your glory. Okay? But it's not deep stuff. It is just history, eh? Which most of you know, eh? Okay, <laughs> all right. But for me, I didn't know it. Eh? But now that I know it, I'm my man, God, thank you eh, for giving me even the ability to recall it. Eh? Okay, now uh, this second book, which I'm what? reading, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I read that. Now, you know, eh? all right. But I'm like, yeah, God, thank you. Eh? That now at least I know something. Okay, and I was like, you know, at a certain point, Father, Use it for your glory. Let it not just be in for it. Okay? But for him to use it for his glory. Eh? Okay? And I told him, and we don't have a lot of time. Because some years ago, you told me the number of years we have left. So I told him, go, we don't have a lot of time for you to use what? <laughs> this information. Hallelujah. Anyway, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from where? From above. John chapter 19, verse 9 to 11. Jesus is before Pilate. All right? And Pilate asks the Lord, he said, that, where are you from? Okay? Then Jesus, he you know, didn't answer. Then Pilate said to him, are you not speaking to me? Okay? Do you not know that I have power to, to crucify you and power to release you? As in answer my question, eh? I'm powerful, great. Then Jesus answered, you could have no power at all against me unless it had been given to you from above. Hallelujah. Okay? Jesus said, you know, yes, you have the power, eh? but you could have no power, you know, eh? unless it had been given to you from where? Above. Okay? A man can receive nothing unless it is given to him from above. Hallelujah. All power, okay, civil power, any kind of power, you know, yeah? good power, eh? okay, no one has it on their own merit. You understand? Eh? It is from above. Okay? And looks like when she, uh, this guy had forgotten or he didn't know. Okay, and he was told that you could have no power against unless it had been given to you from above. Glory be to God. Amen. I think this guy, he was a good guy, you know. Well, at a certain point, man said, You guys, for me, as in this job, eh? you know, eh? then the wife had a dream, eh? say, Man, leave that man, I'll have nothing to do with that innocent man. She had, had a dream, eh? But do you know the dream she had? The Bible just says that she had a dream. Do you know the dream she had? There's a book I read, eh? which, you know, someone, 
God showed someone what that lady dreamt. Hallelujah. And it is not in history books. Glory be to God. So that's why you can't get in history books. Amen? So, God specializes in the weak. Once again, I'm telling you, you're the one God is looking for. Stop what? Stop ducking. Stop, you know. Eh? Amen? If the guy is looking for a woman with what? African, an African, African hair, African accent. Now you're there turning your hair what? like white people. You understand? But it's, it's, you're the one he's looking for. Say, ah, you're not the one. Then he gets another now for them, they are whatever, accents. Eh? Then he gets for another one, they're not eating food. Eh? <laughs> you understand what that means? He said, ah, you're not the one. I'm looking for an African, you, 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 you know, eh? like the ones I saw on TV, eh? Nigerian movie. You guys say, like those ones. Hardly enough for you're not eating, you know, eh? And meanwhile, you're not eating and you're suffering. There's a, it's another thing if you're not eating and you're happy, you understand? But you're not eating and you're suffering. You eat food is there. You can afford it. It truly made it. Hmm? All right? But it's a very deep sermon yeah? for your own information. Yeah? Okay? Glory be to God. Teddy, you don't agree. You think I, I'm just thinking about Osopa Sandy. But I'm very, very, this is very what? This is very, very deep. Okay? Okay? If you don't acknowledge that you are what you are by the grace of God, you're just being arrogant. You're being what? Arrogant. And arrogance is of the devil. Hallelujah. The reason why I say that is because I had to tell you a dream I had. I had a dream. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Let me check. Because some dreams I, I write as what I can, I can say, but people really, really yeah? all right? This week I had some dreams, a few. The other two weeks I had nothing, yeah? all right? But some time ago I had some. Yeah? Okay. In fact, when was 3rd May? When was 4th May? Any the other week. Eh? On 4th May, by the way, I had a dream. Eh? Uh, I was telling people, eh? I think we're in church. I was telling people that it doesn't matter what you do as long as it is the will of God. Then later, Sarah, uh, Nantong, led us in a song. Eh? You know that song, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Yes, Yeah, One Glass Tani. Eh? We have never sung such powerful songs in LAT. People fear to what? To sing those songs, I think. But those songs are powerful. Eh? You know, eh? However, after you have sung them, you have to end on a what? On a powerful, you understand? Eh? That a song like that shouldn't be the last. You understand, eh? And so, you know, and so it was Sarah. Maybe you should lead it one day. Because you are the one in the dream of singing it. Okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, yes, you are understanding. Okay, so, as we sang, eh? Okay, I also saw a paper on which was written in bold, eh? Okay? And it was saying that we are, we are the protected of the protected. Which is the same... Like as a song, eh? okay? Yeah. yeah, Jesus overcame, you know? And they said, we are the protected of the protected. I knew in the dream that it was all about LAT. You understand? Eh? Okay? Any force against us, yes, you understand. As in, we, we know nothing can overcome us. And then the dream said, we are the protected. Of, because there's a guy by the who's doing, you know, eh? people don't want to agree, but one time they're going to acknowledge it. Eh? That this guy is in witchcraft. But he wasn't always like that. Okay? You know, people say, you know, for him he's not saying anything, right? He's you guys. But you see you're being what? Stupid, eh? 
Just because someone's not saying anything does not mean he's not employing people to say something. Neither does it mean that he's not doing things eh, in the secret place. Okay, so eh, that night I also, or the night before, I also had a dream eh, where we were somewhere with people and there was a parking lot. Eh, okay, then I moved away. Then I could see this guy wanted to kidnap me. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I can see you, eh? Okay? <laughs> so I was walking in the car, but I was like, I'm seeing you, eh? What do you want to do? And it was with a certain guy we studied with in med school, eh? Some fellow, eh? Some guy. So, then at a certain point, he decided to what? To come after me. Like, you know, eh? To kidnap. But then I was too fast for him, eh? Okay, I took off real quick, eh? Then he sent the guy he was with. All right, he sent the guy he was with to get me. You know, because the other guy was faster than him. All right? So anyway, I escaped, you know, I, you know. Then, then, um, then, uh, so I went. I began to people that now, some people, most of you know. I told them now, you see, this is what I've been telling you. The guy tried to kidnap me. You see, this is evidence. I went, I told another chick, you see, and they're like, four people, I told them, you see. You know, you're just arguing for nothing. This, you know, eh? Okay. Then, anyway, I woke up. Eh? So, when I woke up, I was like, wait a minute. Is there a possibility that guy is a what? Uploading a kidnap. I was like, in this Uganda right now, it is possible. <laughs> but I was like, but, as, uh, but now, if, you, if someone kidnapped me now, most people would say, uh, you know, eh? And that's how actually investigators work, eh? lawyers and what. Eh? They're like, they first get the most probable, you know. Eh? So I was like, this would be so a little obvious. Eh? So it, it wasn't, but I was like, but man, eh? these guys can do things like that because they're desperate, they're being exposed. Eh? So I was like, ah, but yeah, it didn't make sense. Then later in the day, eh? I'm in the saloon, they are shaving, then, you know, I'm relaxed. But that is one of the best, anyway. Most of the hearings eh, that you get from God, eh, like to know what you should do or something, eh, usually they come in a state of rest, eh, peace of mind. Eh. Okay, anyway, so as I'm there, then all of a sudden, eh, like it was like a, like, like being, you know, um, anyway, I got the interpretation. Eh, and God was like, what is the major characteristic about that guy who was saved? Eh, to kidnap you. Because I know him, eh? Okay? And then, oh, then I remember, you know, when we were in Mexico with this guy, he was, even to this day, the guy is very arrogant. Okay? The guy is the arrogant, man. He talks to you, then he does his nose about how, you know, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but he's a nice guy, if you know him, eh? Now, like me, eh? When we meet, eh? We, you know, he's nice, eh? Okay? But again, it's like it, it, it is so hard for him to hide the arrogance. Eh? Okay? Then God told me that is what this that guy is doing. Now he's like uh, invoking what? Uh, spirit. Eh? And it's like if he has failed to get you in their thing now, he's a late to send you spirits of what? Arrogance. To kidnap you. He's like that is the way to get this guy. Just get him arrogant. Eh? They, you, you know, eh? Do you understand? Remember, it is arrogance, it is pride that led to Lucifer's fall. Eh? Okay? Before, eh? before humility, eh? before exaltation, there is humility. Before destruction, there is what? Pride. Eh? So now, uh, so you go to the, that's now what the guy is doing. Okay? He's like, you know, eh? and now it's not like, you know, it is now evil spirits. Hallelujah. Amen? But we are saying that a man can receive nothing unless it has been what? Given to him. From a, by the way, that is one of the, the things you can use in what? Dream interpretation. Eh? But dream interpretation is not this simple, by the way. It's not a mental thing. Eh? You can't say now, always, always, eh? this applies. Eh? But sometimes the person you're with eh? in a dream, eh? 
okay, could be God now. You know, he's a, the major thing about that person eh, is what God is trying to, uh, to, to come in. Now, like, um, who is the Eritrean guy we, we met at, at Norman's wedding? What's his name? Eh? Brahani. So, there's this guy, Brahani, very man. The guy is a good teacher of the word. Eh? Very good. Eh? I've met him twice. Eh? Okay, but all the time I just get impressed, eh? okay, with this depth of the word and the ability to what? to like to uh, bring it forth. Eh? So, uh, I think a few days after, you know, this dream, I had another one. In this dream, we are like in a gathering of some people, and I was seated at the front row, you know, with Brahani. Okay, and this is embarrassing. I was eating raw cassava. <laughs> raw cassava. I remember eating a dream to white raw. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in suits, you know. Eh? <laughs> raw cassava. <laughs> Some of these dreams, you, know, you can say that dream of the devil. It's for the flesh. Raw cassava, you know. Eh? Anyway, then uh, someone was speaking and he finished. And then he called some guy who, who is also like, eh? You know, good at words and, uh, you know, teaching, you know. Eh? He called him, like, this guy was like four rows uh, behind us. Eh? So he called him to say something. Okay? Then the guy, man, he feared. Eh? He's like, uh, if I come and say something, Moses is here and he knows I'm fake. You know, eh? He knows I'm into something. Then he saw the guy, like, you know, eh? but we know he feared. Because I was here. And the dream anyway ended. Nothing more than that. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> that dream, man. Okay, to this day, I'm not sure why God sent me that dream. But at least I know the key thing that was being addressed. All right? Like I've told you, I was with Ubrahan. All right? The guy is so good at the word. Eh? All right? Then... The other guy who was being called to say something is also a very good, you know, eh? the gift is there. You, 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 well, I, I don't know if he's still there, but at least he's known for that. Eh? All right? And then he jumped because eh? Moses here. Eh? All right? And then, remember I was eating raw cassava. You know? It's hard stuff. Eh? Okay? And I remembered. There's a scripture we say that solid meat, as in solid food, Belongs to those who are mature, who are, you know, uh, uh, full of age, eh? exercise. Anyway, solid food. So the cassava was solid food. The word. Eh? And I'm with Brahani, some guy good at the word. Eh? Do you understand? Eh? So now, the dream had nothing to do with Brahani. Then I call him, man, I dreamt about you. We're sitting here. Because I now look at this one. <laughs> then the guy said, so what did he I don't know, but I just dreamt about you were sitting together, then I was eating cassava. <laughs> and then the guy says, Man, eh, your dreams are fake, you guy. Eh? As in, eh, I pity eh, your church, eh? fake dreams, cassava. <laughs> but then he has to be Katya, say, Okay, let us pray to God what it means. God will reveal unto us, eh, but he's just being Katya, but he needs my like, fake raw cassava. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. So you can say that God was talking about the word. Eh? I think it was a commendation. Eh? So what God is trying to say is that what this guy is, eh? now you know, eh? you understand. And then you, you're eating rockers, solid food. Eh? And then the other, we teach a can't come and stand before people in your presence. Eh? You understand? Eh? So you could see now he's like, now you are, he's inferior to you. Eh? I guess concerning that, that thing of the word. Eh? Do you understand? Eh? Okay? Hallelujah. There's a lady, she hasn't, she hasn't been in reality for a long time. She's called Zelda. And she came here last Sunday. Okay? She came here last Sunday. I didn't see her in like over here. Eh? Okay? So she came here just to see how we are. At the end of the service, and she came and she gave me 400,000. She's like, they have a fellowship eh? and uh, they have a fellowship and they decided, or she decided that they should bring something, you know, 
for the FPO. Baby, get her forgotten that time there. Anyway. <laughs> so when I was shocked, eh? <laughs> this is what I realized God is. It seems that there's an angel eh? that is just made, is just there to make sure that this guy never sees financial. Now, someone even seen like in over here just comes from the south, you know, eh? Anyway, but that's not the point I was trying to make. Now, in the night, I had a dream. When uh, I met her, that girl, uh, Zelda, I met her and she told me that, by the way, your preaching eh, is much better now. Glory be to God. For you don't agree, but you wait. God is going to give you a dream and tell you that, man, your preaching is much better than it used to be. But, you're, but how can that be when you're telling us about Super Sunday, you know, eh? Hallelujah. But God's standards are what? Mighty. But God specializes in the week. You're the one the white man is looking for. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. You are the man that some rich guy is looking for. But you're insisting on paying for yourself a soda, a taxi, a border. No, no, no. Eh? These men think, you know, eh? they think we can't pay for ourselves. Well, you pay for yourself. Amen? So God specializes in the what? In the week. Eh? Isaiah 40, verse 29, eh? from 29 to 31. It says that he, God, gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint. Eh? Like the strong eh? shall become weak. Eh? All right? And they will become weary. And the young men, eh? young men are supposed to be strong. Eh? But it says, they shall utterly fall. All right? But those who wait on the Lord, all right, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Glory be to God. God is looking for you. And I'm going to tell you this until the service ends. You know, yeah? Verse 29, okay, says, he gives power to the weak. He doesn't give power to the strong. All right? And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Then he says, even the youth, eh, the strong, eh, okay, the young men, eh, you know, eh? he says, they shall faint and become weary, Okay, they shall be, they shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. Eh? They shall not faint. Why? Because they will be energized eh, by the strength of God. Glory be to God. And in a sense, we are all weak. Because without him, we can do nothing. Eh? All right? We're all weak in whatever we're supposed to do, we're supposed to become. Eh? It is only arrogance that makes you think that you're something eh? outside Christ. Glory be to God. All right? You can become the greatest in anything eh? if you can just be like Catherine Coleman. Just say, I was born with nothing. Then she used to say that I have nothing. You know, I said that the only thing I have eh, is my love. Eh? And of course, she knew that that love was put there by God. And I said that is the only thing I can give you. Glory be to God. And then she said that, you know, she, she said that if you can use anything, okay, she used to tell the Lord, eh, if you can use anything, then use me. Hmm? If you can use anything, then she says, use me. Hallelujah. Amen? Hallelujah. God is in the business. Eh? He wants to make giants eh, in this place. Eh? Giants out of you. Eh? All right? Okay? But you see, you know, eh, he cannot fill, you know, eh, a vessel that is full. 
you know, full of pride, full of self, full of arrogance, full of, you know, I've arrived, eh? you know, look who I am. Eh? Okay, God is looking for empty vessels eh? that he can fill with his power and with his grace. Glory be to God. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. Okay? Speaking about Israel. Moses told them, eh, the Israelites, he said that the Lord did not set his love on you, nor choose you, because you are more in number than any other people. Okay? That's not why God chose you, because you are more, eh? Okay? For you are the least of all peoples. Okay? Remember when Jacob went to Egypt, okay, to be provided for by his son, with Joseph, there were 70. The family was 70 people. And that was a nation. The nation that now we know as what? And there were 70. Okay? So he said that the Lord did not set his love on you, nor choose you, because you are more in number than any other people. For you were the least of all peoples. But because the Lord loves you, he chose them because he loved them. Eh? He had a covenant with the fathers. But not because there was anything great in them. Hallelujah. And that is why the Lord wants to do great things through you. Hallelujah. He's not going to choose you because you are great in anything. Eh? He's going to choose you because, you know, eh? he loves you and you're available you acknowledge that you're without him. Okay? And then you say, you're the one I'm looking for. Glory be to God. Amen? This Israel, eh, that is uh, on 14th, eh, you know, is celebrating 70th anniversary. Okay? These Jews who people have tried to, like, exterminate, you understand, eh, from the face of the earth. Eh? Gays are still around. They are becoming stronger and stronger. Okay? God said, I didn't choose you because you are strong, eh? because you are the majority. I chose you because I loved you. You know, and he made them the Israelites, the Israel that we know today. Glory be to God. So now, if you hate the Jews, you're just hating the grace of God. Because guys were nothing. And then God, he got them. Eh? He made them what they are. They're not what they are because of them. So if you hate them because of what they are, in a sense, you hate God. Do you understand? These kids were nothing. All right? Just say, like you, eh? you're going to become great, not because you're great, but because you're nothing. You, know, you acknowledge eh? that without him, you're nothing. Hallelujah. Amen? You've gotten the point. Eh? I could give you many more verses, eh? but... We don't have to do that. Eh? Okay? The point is that God is what? You know, eh? he needs to use you. He wants to use you. Eh? And it's a great honor, eh? a privilege. Hmm? You know, eh? Okay? Jeremiah chapter 9, eh? 23 and 24. Eh? It says, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Okay? Let not the mighty man glory in his might. Glory there means boasting. Yeah? Nor let the rich man glory in his what? Riches. But let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me. Eh? You understand? Eh? That's what you should what? Glory in. Okay? He said, don't boast in your wisdom. Don't boast in your riches. Don't boast in your mind. Glory that you understand. The glory in the fact that, you know, eh? You, we, we, we act know the fact that you are what you are because of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Don't boast in anything. Eh? Basically, be humble. And the Bible says God gives grace to the humble. He gives grace, what? He gives strength, eh? ability, eh? His greatness, he gives it to the what? To the humble. Hallelujah. Amen? 
Whatever you don't have, eh, God has it. And he wants to give it to you. Hmm? Whatever you don't have, eh, okay, God has it and he wants to give it to you. Whatever you, you are not, eh, you can become eh, by the grace of God. God can make you that thing. Eh? Hallelujah. And just humble yourself. Eh? All right. Whatever you don't have, you can get it eh, by the grace of God. And you see, this is where people who don't pray, eh, basically, people who don't pray are just prideful. Eh? Anyone who prays, eh, that is humility. You understand? People who don't pray, it is just a sign of pride. Because if you don't pray, that you don't go to God eh, to tell him that, Muhammad, help me. Eh? I need your help. What should I do here? Eh? You, there, you just trust in your wisdom. You don't inquire of God. That is pride. Hmm? All right? Hmm? Glory be to God. May this be the day when you start praying. Hallelujah. For those who don't pray. Hallelujah. Because I've told you, prayerlessness is pride. It is as simple as that. It is not a weakness. Okay? It is pride. Pride plus plus. Hallelujah. Let's thank God for what we have had. Amen? Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father. For the grace that you make available unto us to enable us to become what you want us to become. To enable us to accomplish what we need to accomplish. We thank you, Father. We glorify you. We thank you for the great things. We thank you, Father, for the great things that you're going to do in our lives the great things that you're going to do in LAT. Father, just like the Israelites, we are few in number. But Lord, you have promised to make us what you need us to become. So Father, help us that as you take us despised, when we had nothing to talk about. Father, help us to remain small in our own eyes. And as individuals, when our finances increase, when you give us all that we want, all that you have promised, when you give us material possessions, Father, I pray that we shall never forget the day when we had nothing. May we never forget that day, Father. Help us. May we never look down on people who by that time won't have what we have. But we shall always remember that once upon a time we were like them. But by your grace, you gave us what we have. We give you glory, Father. We honor you. We exalt you. We boast not in anything but in you. We don't boast in our own strength, in our own wisdom. For the wisdom of man is foolishness to God. But Father, we boast in your wisdom. We boast in your wisdom. We boast in your wisdom and nothing else. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 1 it says for you know moreover brethren we make known to you the grace of God you see the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia 
for eh? that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in the riches of their what? Liberality. Okay? These guys were very broke. Eh? Okay? Very broke. And they were going through persecution. But by the grace of God, you know, God gave them the ability to be very generous. You understand? Eh? Broke people. You know, eh? Verse 3. For I bear witness that according to their ability, yes, and beyond their ability. Remember, broke people. Okay? You know, eh? They gave according to the ability of broke people. But they went even beyond that. Eh? They gave, you know, eh? Above even what broke people would do, they were freely willing, imploring us with much urgency that we should receive the gift. Glory be to God. Okay, what empowered them? The grace of God. Hallelujah. If you want to be a giver, eh? again, you see, whatever you're going to be in life, whatever you want to become, it's by the grace of God. Even giving. It's just there. Giving. It takes God helping you. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no such thing as, you know, a self-made giver. It's not there. It's by the grace of God. You can't do anything in the kingdom of God without the grace. Hallelujah. All right. Glory be to God. Last Adam Tabernacle, Christ for the Nations.